According to latest media reports, India is finally moving ahead with the Super Shukhoi project, and India has selected the Nippon 35 Snow Leopard radar system, which is a 20 kW class steerable hybrid electronically scanned array radar system, which can detect F-35 and J-20 fighter jets at a distance of 58 km at full power, and 29 km in tracking mode. Officials have said, that upgrading the Su-30 will not take much time, as Russia has already implemented significant upgrades including the radar system and AL-41 FC-1 engines on its Su-30 SM fighter jets. According to latest reports, the upcoming Astra Mark II air-to-air -air system will have a range of more than 160 km, and will have an ejector launch method which was not seen in the Mark I program. The development of ejector launch capability for the upcoming Astra Mark II also points towards internal bay of the fifth-generation AMCA fighter jet, for launching the air-to-air -air system in stealth mode. In the ejector launch method, the Astra system will be physically ejected away from the AMCA, ensuring that it is clear of the aerodynamic flow before motor ignition. Few experts have expressed that the Indian Air Force should cancel the medium-weight fighter program, and should put all its efforts on the fifth-generation advanced medium combat aircraft. A feasibility study for the program was also completed recently, that mentions that the making of the medium-weight fighter has no bearing on the future manufacturing of the AMCA. The advanced sensors and technologies developed for the AMCA can be used to upgrade the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets which could lead to the Tejas Mark 1B variant in the future, which is what Lockheed Martin has done with the F-16 Block 70, which has drawn technologies from its F-35 fifth generation fighter jet. The Indian Defence Minister has received the first Rafale combat aircraft for the Indian Air Force in France, and he also undertook a sortie on the Rafale fighter jet after receiving the first of 36 Rafale fighter jets. He will also address the CEOs of the French defence industry, during which he will ask them to participate in the Make in India program, as well as the Defence Expo 2020. The Indian Army is working on a 10-year modernization plan for its aviation corps, and it aims to induct at least 350 helicopters including the indigenous light combat helicopter and six Apache helicopters, along with the induction of the remotely piloted aircraft system. The Indian Army will also procure an additional squadron of the Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter and Rudra Armed Helicopter within the next one year. The Indian Air Force is set to start the process of procuring bird detection radar systems by floating a request for information, and presently there are many choices due to indigenous companies in the market. It is estimated that bird hits contribute to 10% of all fighter jet incidents, leading to irreversible damage to the engines of the fighter jet. The All India HAL Trade Unions Coordination Committee has issued an indefinite strike notice effective from 14 October, with regard to settlement of wage revision. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has declared, that the indefinite strike call by its employees is illegal, and Hindustan Aeronautics might withdraw company benefits.